Phoenix. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright. Uh, we've actually already finished the story, but as you can see, there's more stuff that we could be messing around with in this game once you completed everything. Uh, a while ago, when this game was originally out, they had weekly episodes that would come out like once a week. There were 12 all together, and I have them all here. And for the most part, they go into more behind the scenes stuff, and there's an awful lot of fourth wall, uh, fourth wall breaking. This is kind of new in the Ace Attorney kind of way, but in the Layton series, this happened. The weekly. The weekly episodes were more or less weekly puzzles you would get, so basically the same idea. And funny enough, I think Great Ace Attorney also follows the same formula, except for the fact you have to pay for the episodes. And late this one, you don't have to pay, they were all free. So anyway, why don't we, uh, not sure how long this is gonna take, but let's, uh, let's just get started. Hopefully we can get maybe like six, three, I don't know, three to six episodes in? Ugh, move my squeaky chair. Ugh. Professor, shall I make the tea? Not just yet. They should be arriving soon. Let's wait until they get here, Luke. Right you are, Professor! Hello? Sorry I'm late. I don't know who's talking. <laughs> wow, you're here! Please, come on in! Good day, Mr. Wright. I was like, is it Meyer or is it Wright? I don't know. Hey there, Professor. Luke. It's been a long time. Oh, it's only been like a week. Indeed it has. I'm delighted you were able to come. Hang on, Mr. Wright, where's Maya? Oh, um, she's... How can I put this? She's on a culinary quest. A uh, quest, you say? She's checking out fish and chips here in London. Mystic Maya's quest for the best of the best, as she puts it. You don't say. She said she wanted to check out all the different places she can find one by one. So she's going to be a little late. She probably has about two or three more left to try before she gets here. I'm starting to think Maya enjoys eating almost as much as I do. Well, why don't we all have a nice cup of tea while we wait? Would you mind making it, Luke? No problem, Professor! I've gotta say, you both seem to be doing well. Thanks! We definitely keep ourselves busy, don't we, Professor? I can't imagine you guys have been up to your necks in adventures and swamped with puzzles. Business as usual, huh? I must admit, that's fairly close to the truth. <laughs> we haven't had a new late game in a while. <laughs> Are things pretty much the same with you, Mr. Wright? Still up to your neck in objections and swamp with contradictions. His ancestor is! Ding! Uh, sure, I guess so. Say, my, so my job sounds really underwhelming when you put it that way. Hey, what gives? You're all having tea without me? Oh, hi, Amaya. Ah, Miss Faye, a pleasure to meet you again. Long time no see, Luke, and I see you're still wearing that classy hat, Professor. How are you guys? All the better for your presence, Miss Faye. So did you find it? The best fish and chip shop in London. Even better! I brought- I bought a takeout from each one of the places I visited. I hope you guys are hungry. That is a lot of fish and chips. Now that Miss Faye has joined us, I suggest another pot of tea is in order. I'll second that, Professor! I see. So, once again, you're here, courtesy of the Legal League of Attorneys. That's right! We have a technical exchange trial starting tomorrow morning. Time sure flies. It's hard to believe an entire year has passed since we left Labyrinthia. I wonder how everyone here there is doing. I would be it would be just great to see Espella again, wouldn't it? Yeah, and Patty. I wonder how they're both doing. 
I'm curious as to how Barr has been keeping himself busy. Hey, Nick! I bet you're just dying to see Barnum's dog Constantine again, huh? Ugh. I bet he's just dying to take another bite out of me. Oh, so many guests today. Huh? Professor, I think we have a visitor. At this late hour, I can't say I've been expecting anybody. I'll go s and see who it is. <laughs> oh, uh, hi, Espella. <laughs> Are you Mr. Herschel Layton? Yes, indeed I am. My dear young lady, how may I be of assistance? I have been asked to give you a letter. Please, could you read this? This letter? It's from Carmi Carmini. Carmini? Car I, well, I'm just gonna say Carmen. Um... What was my next line? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> How have you been, Mr. Layton? Oh, that was a perfect performance, Espella. I felt like we'd gone back in time. I did too when I first did this episode. Wow, guys, talk about putting on a show. Mr. Wright, Maya, it's so good to see you both again. So, how did you like the reenactment of our first meeting? Uh, yeah, you totally had me fooled. I thought for sure Labyrinthia had come down with another case of magic water. What are you saying, Nick? They just reenacted the fateful scene from when they first met. I bet the fans could recognize that scene in an instant. How was I supposed to know? I wasn't even there. Hey, wait, neither were you, Maya. Incidentally, where is Carl Mini? I invited him to join us, too. Oh... That's right. He won't be able to make it tonight. Really? That's a bit of a shame. Speaking of Carmine, that letter I just gave you is actually a message from him. Let's read it, Professor! Dear Professor, It has been a long time. There's so much I would like to tell you, but at present, I do not have the time. I am currently lying in a hospital bed. Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I love how this just replays like the first chapter. It all happened two months ago. I had just received a new assignment and set off towards town, when suddenly... I was hit by an oncoming car that crossed my lane without warning. Uh, uh... This evening, I tried to sneak out of the hospital. But before I could, before I could, they found me. I'm sorry to say that I won't be able to make it to yours tonight after all. Alas, the lights in the ward have been turned off already. Such dramatics, Carmine. As such, I am forced to leave you with the only words appropriate for such a situation. Good night, Professor. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. Your faithful student, call me an accidente. <laughs> okay, Carmine. <laughs> Who'd have thought Carmine would get involved in another car accident? Gee, it must have something to do with his name. He's just prone to have car accidents. Indeed, he seems to be making rather a habit of it. Huh, that's one dangerous habit. I say she, he should just change his name. Clearly, it's totally jinx. All right, Maya, you got it. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, Maya. Right, then. Now that everyone's here, what do you all say to some tea? Care to do the honors, Luke? I, uh... What is it, Mr. Wright? Oh, um, it's nothing. More tea! Slam's cup. Wow, that's great! I'm so glad to hear everyone's doing fine back in Labyrinthia! Everyone's working very hard to create a new town. Labyrinthia 2.0. So, Mrs. Eclair and Mr. Barnum weren't able to come today. I'm afraid not. They really wanted to, but they just couldn't take the time off. 
Well, there's no rush. Apparently, these special episodes are set to continue for a while yet. Remember when I said this thing breaks four falls? That's right! I'm sure we'll have the chance to see them all again soon! Now then, everybody, shall we begin? Um, begin? Begin what, Professor? Why, that should go without saying, Mr. Wright. Now that we're all here, it can only mean one thing. Uh, I think I know where this is going. Oh, I've got it! You mean puzzles, don't you, Professor? Puzzles? Yes, puzzles. Dropped from the main game. <clears throat> I mean, specially prepared for our further enjoyment. Ha! Oh, it's been so long. May I have a try? I'm always ready for a new puzzle or two. Or twelve? Me too! I'm up for this! Well then, puzzle time it is. Although, before we start... Why don't we all have another cup of tea? If you would. Huh? That's a lot of cup of teas! Is something the matter, Mr. Wright? Um, no, no, nothing at all. Nick, can we, uh, talk for a sec? We've had so much tea. One more drop and I think I'm gonna burst. Tell me about it. Any more tea? And we're gonna end up with a water problem of our own. <laughs> I think this is like a European tradition about tea. When you get gas, you have to make more tea. <laughs> you know, you two can make... You two can take a little break if you need it. How right you are, Vespella. Speaking of a break, how about a nice leisurely puzzle to relax ourselves? Can you blend this, Vespella? Alright, here comes our first puzzle. Uh, where's my stylus? I'm gonna need it. Okay! The princess is attempting to create a delicious, delightful drink using only the fresh juice from the heart containers. Turn knobs on the touchscreen to start and stop the flow of liquid. You must turn three knobs in total. The fresh juice mixture should only flow from one of the five openings. Be careful not to mix the rancid liquid from the skull containers. Well, that's gross. Alright! First puzzle. What the fuck do I do? Uh... Fun fact, these puzzles are actually kind of difficult. I actually had to use a guide for a couple of these. Alright, let's try that. Oh, how exciting! Yeah! Got it! I'm so glad I was able to help! <laughs> no points! Boo! She did it, Professor! You know, I think I'd rather be full of puzzles than full of tea any day. Speaking of tea, now that we've solved the puzzle, let's celebrate with another cuppa! All right, right, Professor? Uh, can we not have more tea? Not this time, Luke. I think we've all had enough tea for now. Oh, thank God. Oh, have we, Professor? I think it might be time to try some of those fish and chips instead. Wouldn't you agree, Luke? I'm okay with this. Can I take some of those fish and chips? I am so full. I couldn't eat another fry, uh, I mean chip. By the way, Nick. Just how many cups of teas do you think we all got through tonight? Let's see now. We all had a cup when I got here. That makes for a total of three cups altogether. Then we all had another one each when I got here, which is another four cups. That makes seven cups in total. And when I arrive, we all drink one more, which is another five cups. That brings the total to twelve. And finally, we all had another cup right before solving that puzzle just now. That's another five cups, bringing the grand total of seventeen cups of tea. Seventeen cups, huh? Say, Nick, maybe the professor has a rule when it comes to drinking tea. What do you mean? You know, something like... I never drink more than 17 cups of tea during any given puzzle. <laughs> 